Hi there. Oi. Welcome to episode 224 of the Rolling Paper Review. I'm a guy, he's a guy, you're a guy or a girl or somewhere in between, and you're watching this video, so cool. Right on. <coughs> Hi. Nope. How you doing? We're here. <coughs> Excuse me. Holy I burped. Fuck. That was nasty. Oh, I got a little bit on my shoulder. I'm just kidding. I'm just glad it came out that end. <laughs> All right, so you want to talk about all that other stuff before we get to the paper this time? Yeah. Just start, start gabbing. Saying hey to our viewers, subscribers, our sponsors, which are non-existent, and our friends on Facebook, and our followers on Twitter. I can't speak. Followers. Followers on Twitter. Hey, thanks for hanging with us, man. I mean, you put up with our shit his old face and you know I guess you guys must come back because of the young guy here it's funny because I frequently flash back to episode one and see how short my beard was <laughs> yeah. it makes me laugh he looked like Ted you know Ted Ted a little fuzzy bear on Ted oh Ted Ted <laughs> anyways we just wanted to give a shout out to you guys say yeah. uh, we love hearing from you guys so yeah. shoot us some comments especially if you've you know partaken in any of the same papers That's or right. even the one we're doing and we're assuming because you've ended up here you didn't end up here by accident you actually sought this out yeah uh, so that means that you are familiar with YouTube so you know what buttons you can smash and all that stuff so if you like it smash them I'm not gonna tell you what to do no you know, but you know, if you want to subscribe, do it. Why not? And if you don't, don't. You already know it helps out the, the person that's putting it up there. Uh, in our case, it'll only be in stats because we don't make any money. We're not monetized. We don't qualify. No sponsors. No, no sponsors. No, nothing. Nothing. So we just do it to do it. Do it. Do it. Okay. So today we do it for you. It on episode two twenty four. Of the rolling paper review we are doing jane's rolling papers king size king size now i checked our list and we had jane's before but it was regular regular size so these are the kings but because they're jane's shouldn't they be queen queen size the queen size we're gonna go with queen size because they're jane's yeah and they're pink the, well, the book is so uh, you know, feminine, girly Jane's. Jane made it. it yeah, we're gonna call it queen size. Queen size. Um, we, nothing. We created on the front a new cover. size. Nothing whatsoever on the front cover. I'm gonna point that out. So that's Boo. gonna be some point loss there. Jane's king size rolling papers, 32 leaves. Rolling paper, 32 leaves per pack, not for sale to minors. Distributed by HBI International. Made in the USA. Yeah, what do we have here? www.rollingsupreme.com. Jane's King Size, 32 leaves. A little bit of info. Very little. Very, very little. Yeah, that's quite a bland pack. Although I do say, um, straight up, I like the fact that there is a feminine, girly pink pack of papers, and I think I've got to give it, like, a cool point or two for that. A point. Well, yeah, but there's a lot of really girly pot smokers, and I think they should be represented in the products, and this does that. Give them a point. <laughs> 
Well, he can be biased, but I won't be. It's not biased. It's yeah, just, it's a minute little detail. So give it a point. <laughs> but they missed the boat on the inner uh, side of totally the Totally missed the boat here. So I think a fair thing to give them, because it's really, like, really lacking information in a major yeah. way, I think a six is fair. Yeah. And that's giving it the point for it being a feminine, girly a book. Girly book. Yeah. But anyways, I mean, yeah, it's, they missed the boat. And yeah. As you guys have seen. Very plain, very plain, very plain. We, uh, we don't like it when they don't put any info on the inside cover because yeah. we usually, at least 90% of the time, when you throw your book of papers on the, on the table or where, wherever you keep them, they sit with that up. So having nothing there does nothing. Nothing to better your company or, or tell them who, who made the papers, if they liked them, whatever. Yeah, your, your book doesn't sit on the table like that. It sits on the table like that. And most of the time, even more open because people use them well, to yeah. scoop their weed. Like for me, I use mine like this all the time, scoop my weed, put it in there and all that stuff, and by the time I put it down, it looks like that. That's what I mean. It's a, it's a completely missed opportunity. And it's not that expensive to print that anything on the inside. No, not when you're doing it on a mass scale. Yeah. So, just saying. We're not saying, but we're saying. Because it needs to be said. Somebody needs to say it. And we'll be the ones to say it. Okay, I'm knocking off the light ash. There yeah. we go. Oh, give it a schnoop schnoop. Scent. Cardboard. Lord. A little bit of running, running, running. Cardboard. No chemicals or nothing, so that's nice. Cardboard. Cardboard. Ten. Roll. It rolled like any other paper. King size. Ten. Gum is lick it, stick it. So far. Roach is out. Gunzo. Gun, 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 gun. So long. <laughs> you got a bit of a taste to them, eh? A little hint of an aftertaste? Yeah, I don't know if that's the paper or... It's not the wheat. It's gotta be the paper. It's not chemical or nothing, it's just a taste. I'm getting flakage. Flakage? Yeah, twice now. Flakage. We don't like flakage. Everybody knows that. Because there are people in who wear suits every day. Whoa! Uh-oh. I guess that goes our, there goes wow. our ash density. Drop so and flakes. Drop two flakes and a drop. So I'm gonna say that's minus four so far. But now I just flick the ash again. So now so we let's try it. it again. Yeah. Okay. So minus we're at four six. so far. We're at six so far. So I'll put that there so we don't forget it. <laughs> <coughs> it's running again. Yeah, not good, not good.
Olympics. No, it doesn't. Well, we're having issues with a big run. Yeah. Which doesn't say much for the watermark. No. At all. Actually, we never even looked to see if it had a watermark. Uh, it has a straight line watermark. Uh, that could be the issue. Yeah, straight line watermark running the length. Okay, well we should try the density again. Okay. I haven't noticed flakage since. Okay, light shake. Holding, medium shake. Holding, Holding metal concert. Holding. Okay. Tap, and we're good. Okay, so it sticks with six then. Yep. I think the bad ash on this has more to do with how the paper's <laughs> burning than anything else. <coughs> you gonna do an aroma real quick? I already did mine. I kind of marked it down, so. Got a stink to it. I don't know what that smell is, but it's not nice. I had a burn too. Yeah, well, well, there's a burn, but uh, it's like a chemically smell. Kind of. What'd you give it? Well, I was at an eight, but I don't know. Um, I'm thinking it I want to go eight. lower than that, like by a lot. Yeah, well, mine was an eight question mark, but. I gotta be honest with you, I was sitting more around a six. We could do a seven then in the yeah, middle. Yeah, let's do that. The great equalizer. Yeah. What did it cost? Ah. Uh, how much did Jane burn you for these now? <laughs> you know what? I'm pretty sure I got these like ridiculously cheap from Rolling Paper Express a while back. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Kind of correct, kind of. Um, and I believe I paid like a buck. And there's 32 leaves? 32 leaves per pack, which when you compare that to the current price of a pack of zigzags, that's a, that's a 10. That's a 10 because it'll actually give you more for your four bucks than a pack of zigzags will. Because they're queen size. And there's 32 per pack instead of 25. Yeah, so, six eggs, a hundred dollars. Right, but when you divide it by the dollar, you're getting twenty-five per dollar. Okay, I see. For this one, you're getting thirty-two for your dollar. Yeah. So that's a ten. Yeah. You can't get no higher than a ten. That's a great price. Works for me. Smoothness and burn. Well, the smoothness has some <coughs> bite. It's not horrible. But it's it's got a presence. It does. Right up, right and a little bit of an aftertaste, I find. Yeah, but I think that ties into that chemically smell, that aftertaste. Could be. Um, so I don't know what it is, but it's not too pleasant. So for me, I'm being fair to six. And in all honesty, the burn's only getting a four for me. Um, and the only reason why it's getting a four is because it's starting to kind of fix itself. Yeah. Up. You know, at the end of it. Kind of what you usually want to do with Jane. Well, it appears to be it's a dinner for two. It is. And I can't give it a cool factor point because I gave it the cool factor point on its appearance score. So yeah. that means it's a 69 out of 100 dinner for two. Seafood sausage fest. It's out of order. Uh, the bottom line is that if you're a collector and you run across it, grab one for your pack. For your collection. Yeah, grab one and then leave it at that. Yep. Um, and for the yeah. average daily, everyday smoker, is it worth your money? No. Not really. Just being straight. Not in our opinion, anyways. No. And, and according to our scoring methods. But 
honestly, it would do in a pinch. But I wouldn't go out of my way to try and purchase them. No. You know, somebody had them or whatever. They will work in a pinch. But either way, but they are done and we're another episode down. Yeah. So stay stoned. Stay with stay us. Stay medicated. Stay tuned. And we will smoke with you again real soon. Peace out. We're out. <laughs>